the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 215, 2 Kings 25 and Jeremiah 39 to 41. Jeremiah 70 years. South Judah, who brought judgment upon themselves, were destroyed by Babylon, the instrument of God's judgment, and came to face a regrettable end of being taken captive. First point, South Judah collapsed with Babylon's third attack. The Babylonian soldiers surrounded the Jerusalem walls and were on the verge of breaking it down at any moment. Now, it was only a matter of time. Finally, the Babylonian soldiers broke the Jerusalem walls. King Zedekiah tried to escape through a secret route, and the soldiers of South Judah all scattered. As God had repeatedly warned, South Judah was to fall in the hands of Babylon. Before the final collapse, Jeremiah sent a letter to the exiles in Babylon to explain what was to happen. The sin of South Judah falling by Babylon was indeed a pitiful sight. The first thing Babylon did was to capture Zedekiah, who was running away, and then killed his two sons in front of him. Next, they gouged out his two eyes and dragged him to Babylon. The second thing they did was to burn down the palace and the houses in Jerusalem and take the people as captives. The third thing they did was to take all the remaining people apart from a select few to Babylon. The fourth thing they did was to raid all the articles from the Jerusalem temple. During the first and second round of captivity, the Babylonians took all the silver and gold from the palace. But during the third round, they took the relics from the Jerusalem temple. For the people remaining in Babylon, the Babylonian king appointed Gedaliah as their governor. Gedaliah's grandfather and father were people who helped Josiah during his religious reformation. As the Babylonians had made Jerusalem a place where people could no longer live, Gedaliah moved to Mitzvah and governed there. Gedaliah listened to Jeremiah's words and took them very seriously. Therefore, he told the remaining people not to fear serving the Babylonian king. But not long after, Gedaliah was killed by Ishmael, a royal of South Judah, and ten of his servants. This was indeed due to their stupidity. Second point, with the burning down of the Jerusalem temple in 586 BC, Jeremiah's second half of ministry began. Jeremiah had been called at the young age of 20 by God and up until 586 BC. He ministered in Jerusalem, and when Jerusalem collapsed, he started his second part of ministry. The 70 years in Babylon as captives was according to the punishment of the kingdom of priests written in Leviticus. God's decision was 70 years. Before this, the ancestors of Israel needed 40 years in the desert to be trained. 900 years later, they needed re-education. This time, they needed to be trained for longer. The 70 years had four purposes. The first was punishment. The second was education. The third was Sabbath. The fourth was that Babylon had 70 years left until God judged them. Daniel and his three friends were taken as the first group of captives, and they lived in the king's palace. As Kiel and the 10,000 skilled workers were taken as the second group of captives, and they grieved when they heard of the fall of Jerusalem. We can see God's management of the world through Ezekiel and Daniel. In the meantime, God saved Abed-Melech, who protected Jeremiah.
Third point, Jeremiah stayed behind with those who could not become good things. Jeremiah was taken with Zedekiah during the third group of captivity, but he was set free in Rama on the way. After the fall of Jerusalem, Nebuchadnezzar set Jeremiah free. Jeremiah was on his way to Babylon when he was spotted by Nebuchadnezzar, who was the commander of the imperial guard, and then was set free. What was incredible was what Nebuchadnezzar said to Jeremiah. He told Jeremiah that he could choose to go to Babylon with him if he liked, and there Jeremiah would receive protection. However, he was also given the choice to go to where Gedaliah was and live among the people. At this, Jeremiah chose to go to the people who could not become good fakes. He chose to help Gedaliah. Fourth point, the people who were left behind in South Judah who were anti-Babylonian murdered the governor Gedaliah who was appointed by Babylon. Jeremiah returned to South Judah and went to Mitzvah, where Gedaliah was appointed as governor. However, not long after, Gedaliah was murdered by the people. Joanan found out that there was someone who was trying to murder Gedaliah. Joanan went to report this to Gedaliah, but Gedaliah did not think much of this and was later murdered. In this process, 70 people from North Israel was also killed. Ishmael saw ancient people from North Israel offering their sadness to the burnt down Jerusalem temple, and he went and killed 70 people by throwing them into a pit. The remaining 10 were able to leave by offering Ishmael a bribe. Ishmael, who killed Gedaliah and 70 others, tried to take the remaining people of South Judah as captives to Ammon. At this, Joanan rescued the people from Ishmael, who quickly ran away. When Gedaliah died, Joanan and the remaining people of South Judah started to fear Babylon all the more and planned to escape to Egypt. But this went against God's plan altogether. What they were to do was to live in South Judah and to serve Babylon for 70 years. But when the people were captured by fear, all their soldiers were to run away to Egypt. Fifth point, the 70 years in Babylon contained four of God's plans. The first point was punishment. The punishment of South Judah was to be taken as captive to Babylon, where they would be deprived of the Jerusalem temple. The reason for 70 years was because for 900 years, the days they had not kept Sabbath, sabbatical year, and Jubilee amounted to 70 years. Therefore, as recorded in Leviticus, they had to be taken as captive to Babylon. The second point was education. The people were to be re-educated on a kingdom of priests during the 70 years in Babylon. With this, they were able to learn that the yoke of a kingdom of priests was light compared to the yoke of an emperor. The third point was Sabbath. During the 70 years, the land of Jerusalem would also last for 70 years. The fourth point was that God had given Babylon 70 years before their judgment. God governed the world by using empires as his tool. Thus, Jeremiah, who delivered God's word, was not a pro-Babylonian, but a man of God. Daniel recorded the fall of Babylon very clearly. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order so that it is one story. And then day after day, 
takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.